There we go. Flak turrets firing. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Know It All DM Entertainment. I'm Know It All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. Hanging out, playing Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 12 Experimental. And uh, we have something that should be going on momentarily. Under here, it says Xerox Attack is now. So I'm going to go ahead and dock into here. And we're going to see if this Xerox attack happens as soon as I get in here. Um, so it's been saying less than X days, less than four days, less than five days. And uh, we should be seeing the notification any minute that the attack is happening. Uh, in the meantime, let me go ahead and bunker inventory and i'm going to start moving all this stuff to where it needs to go like so and uh let's just go back to player bunker connect and see if we can go ahead and get this uh that's a small constructor why is that a small constructor um let's do output and see if we can get this auto miner online. Okay. And I'm waiting for this thing to attack. Now you'll see it says ammo box over there. And uh, that's, that's, I, I was, there we go. I was down at the, uh, the Titan and looking for things and I found a couple of missed uh, things and I forgot to remove that ammo box um, before I took the core up. So I can get rid of that just by going back down and putting a core down and all that. You'll notice I cleared out all of my things. If I need a waypoint, I'll pop it on here as a waypoint and then I will uh, uh, take it up. Uh, so right now the only waypoints we have are the bunker and that ammo box. Uh, let's see. Coming from this direction. Okay. These are drones. Let's see. I should have some, uh, the flak turrets and stuff ought to start firing once they get into range, but I don't want the rocket drones tearing up the base. There we go. Flak turrets firing. Okay. <laughs> well, that was relatively easy. Um, I'm hoping our base didn't take much damage. What? What the? What? Oh, they're shooting at. Uh, I've got to fix that. Where's the other one? Over here, and then. We'll head back. They're shooting at uh, the predators that are there. Okay, let's head back over here. I don't need you guys wasting your ammunition on creatures. Let's make sure that we come into here. Turrets. Um... Take off that for all those so that only the sentry guns. Yeah, so that only the sentry guns were worry about the predator aliens. Um, you guys don't need to be worrying about that. Um, did I take any damage on my turrets? I don't think so. I think I got out there quick enough that they uh, prioritized me. So, yeah, that was a simple base attack. Um, I should 
be able to go ahead and put these down. That was the second base attack that I've incurred. The first one I recorded, forgot to add to a uh, to a video, and then accidentally deleted the recording before I could do so, which was my bad. But in any case, uh, we ought to have that auto miner online now. Let's go down and see. Auto miner ought to be. Aha! Auto miner! Um, and I can go ahead and put some of this stuff in here. Um, all right, let's do a little bit of organization. Uh, let's connect to the cargo pod and grab all this stuff. Actually, yeah, let's grab all this. And uh, let's go ahead and put this in there so I can use it if I need to in the future. Uh, bunker. Um, let's see. Where do these go first? Let's do fuel. We can put the fuel away. Uh, I'm going to be putting all my extra ammunition stuff in here. Um, if all of my... Uh, weapon ammunition stuff, like all my uh, base slash CV slash all that, the uh, actual ammunition for uh, handheld weapons goes in the ammo boxes or in the uh, weapons box. Uh, I didn't sell that sniper yet. I might just throw it back in here with these there. Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, and I'll worry about selling these later if I need to. Um, inventory grabs the wood, food input grabs that, medical fridge, I'll go ahead and put all that in there and I'll hold on to those. Okay, uh, let's see, I need to start being able to get these online, which means I'll need flux coils, which means I will need uh, stuff on the moon. Okay. So today, thank you for joining me today. I hope everybody enjoys what they see. Uh, if you do, hit the like button, all that good stuff. <laughs> I do appreciate everybody's feedback in the comments, all the stuff I've been getting. It's been awesome replying to you guys and awesome seeing all the, uh, the people who are inspired by my content. Um, if you know someone else who might be in, might enjoy my stuff, why not share it with them? You know, that's something we can do um but really i do appreciate all the support that everybody gives me um so today we are heading to the moon and i am totally unprepared for this totally unprepared i completely forgot to grab my uh to grab several things um let's just come around all right first um Okay, bunker, uh, I need to heal. Let's just go into, let's just go into our medical bay and heal up and everything because heal up, eat food, all that stuff. Um, I am completely absent-minded and forgot to do all that. So I'm gonna have to do that now with you guys on camera. Now that I've taken a bit of damage, I think I got that damage uh, looking at the Titans and such. Okay, down here at the bottom. Medical bay is this way. Uh, armor locker. Let's put that in there. Um, I think I ought to be okay with this. What's the insulation things from negative one to 57? So I should be good on the moon with this. Okay, let's heal up. Let's make sure my oxygen is full and let's go grab some food. Um, it made three, is it still making? Yes, it's still making these emergency rations from the uh, last time that, uh, that I started them. I'm just gonna eat a little bit of food. I don't think I need to take any with me. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do this 
and have it make up some more once it's done with those emergency rations. So, okay. Uh, medicines in here. Do I need to take anything with me? I don't think so. Um, okay. Now I can go to the moon and see if I can search around and then put this auto miner down. Okay, we are in space and we are heading towards the moon. You'll notice that I am continually slowing down as my angle from the planet gets further and further uh, away. And uh, that's because the pull of the moon or of the Earth's or planet further and further away from the planet. I think I said moon. I I'll, anyway, further and further away from the planet and uh, you'll notice that uh, it will snap back to uh, its normal, its uh, maximum speed of 91 meters per second once we uh, get far enough away from the planet. Uh, it ought to do that. Yeah, right there. And uh, now that we're far enough away from the planet... <laughs> we can move at our full speed. It's interesting that it does that. I really like that it does that, but it's not quite as realistic as it could be because if you sort of slingshot around, it it doesn't actually uh, keep your momentum. It's not quite there, but it's better than it was, a lot better than it was. Because before it completely ignored the, the, the planet's at, uh, gravity in space, like all together. And uh, it seems to be doing the same thing even with the moon's eye. Uh, Pull. And uh, when it does this, whenever you do press the level out button, it'll actually level you out with the plane of the moon, which is interesting. And you'll notice how it'll keep moving. And that basically lets you go like go in an orbit around the planet or moon. And. Uh... OK, here we are. So, there's a large minigun drone near this resource. Let's just go close enough to ping it. Okay. Iron. I do want to avoid... Xerax territory over here. So we're going to head over this way towards all these resources and see if our titanium is one of them because I believe there is one titanium on here. So we're going to see if we can find it. And uh, if we can, then we will... Uh, put our auto miner down on it if it is not uh, within Xerax territory, of course. All right, we found the titanium deposit, but there's a lot of drones right here. Let's just uh, kind of turn around and take a look at this. Rocket, cannon, cannon, minigun drone, cannon, all this. And as you can see, there's the Crash Titan on here as well. And I think, I don't know if this is always going to be true, but it's possible that they intentionally put the titanium deposit near the Titan. I don't know, but uh, you can see all these drones, large minigun drones, large cannon drones, large, all this stuff. We're going to have to find a way to set up our, dev our mining device while, and pr like, protect it uh, from these things. So that's going to be interesting. Um but our titanium deposit is here. Waypoint resource, except. I wonder if it's far enough away that they won't bother me over here. It could be. Um, I did just realize that I have no, uh, 
no uh, fuel. So that's going to be something that I have to worry about. But uh, uh, now that I found it, I'm actually going to head back to the planet, um, which might not be easy. Let's see. There's titanium. There's the bunker. So I'm going to have to leave orbit and go around the moon. But I'm going to head back to the planet, grab some fuel, come back here, and uh, we're going to figure out what we're going to do about defending this thing uh, from the Xerax. All right, we're on our way back. I've got the auto mining device and, the, and some fusion cells to put in it. And I have a... Uh, an ARV auto miner hut or a mining hut that I uh, crafted up and uh, it's not you know it's not that you know bad it's just stone and then base it's basically a bunch of concrete blocks with a door and some uh, solar panels and that's it the solar generator and the core um, maybe there's a cargo box or something but I uh, it's basically just a little hut to go over top of a auto mining device. And you put the hut down and then you put the uh, auto mining device down and it works just fine. At least it does in, t in freedom mode. So I'm going to test it in uh, survival mode here. And we're going to see just how well this does. And there's a little bit of a room inside of the, uh, of the structure where you can put a teleporter. So we could then just teleport back and forth once we're able to make a teleporter. All right, we're going to enter the planet right about here. I would say the atmosphere, but there's no atmosphere. And we ought to be able to come right down onto it. Um, the sun is probably going to be down by the time we get there. I'm hoping to be just far enough away. Why does it have it there when the... Titanium deposit is here. That's interesting. Okay. So, four kilometer or 400 meters away. Uh, we're just going to come right over here and land. I don't think any of them are. That's weird. Okay, let's remove this and reway point it here. All right. Now, we're in a place where the sun is going to be north from us, so right about here and I want to quickly go ahead and make this public so we don't have to worry about drones and such attacking it now it's not going to have much solar power to start with okay and uh, the solar power is going to be iffy because I uh, let's, let's make sure to link to this okay oh we're not close enough to the resource what crap why are we not uh, okay we're gonna have to take this thing apart and reassemble it so let's put it back to private okay let's try this again Mine hut. Now, it says we need to be titanium deposit. Let me just double check. All right, the titanium deposit is right here. So, now I want... This...
this way. Okay. And it should be right here. Titanium deposit is right here. There's no reason we should not be able to place. Let's make this public so things don't come after it. There's no reason we should not be able to place the thing. Aha! And there we go. Now we can energize it. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're producing 30 an hour. Now, in order to upgrade this, let's see, can I learn? I can. What would we need to upgrade it? What? You cannot upgrade. You used to be able to upgrade them right here. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to make another one instead you used to be able to upgrade these but apparently now you cannot that's disappointing but we've got this going we've got a little cargo box here so we can grab stuff and put it here and right here's where you can put a teleporter so you don't have to keep flying back up here this is completely solar powered and uh i've got it facing this direction so we've got the most sunlight we can on our solar panels um, being at the uh, not solar powered end of the thing means it's going to be you know difficult but we're actually not going to be using anything so it will get should get a hundred percent and so we can come up here and grab our uh, titanium and uh yeah we'll be good let's see it says 30 per hour, so it takes two minutes to make one ingot, or one ore. So, we're just going to leave that where it is, let it sit, and do its thing. And uh, then we'll come back this way when we need to. Um, not entirely sure what we're going to do about all those drones, but there are other tar uh, Titan parts here that we can now get. Um, but for now, I guess we'll head back to the bunker and uh, see what else we can do about getting uh, stuff. I think our uh, we ought to be able to go to the uh, uh, trade stations again and get some more stuff and possibly get the uh, uh, large uh, thing going. All right, and we are home. There we go. Perfect landing. Okay. So let's get down here to the engineering. And let's see. Okay. Um, All right, yeah, what we need is we need one of these. Right now, we are, need Zascosium Alloy for it, which is going to be a big thing that we're not going to be able to do. If we can get that through trading, then all we need is the flux coils, and we're golden, and we're, we've got the uh, uh, neodymium for that. All we will need... Uh, afterwards is the uh, titanium which we are working on uh, we've got our uh, uh, whatchamacallit getting that uh, the uh, auto miner is getting that so I think it's time wrong way this way I think it's time we go to the trader uh, go to the trade stations and uh, try yet again to, uh, let's see, there's the trade station. Trade station is down here. It's the sanctuary marked on here. 
Polaris Sanctuary. Edit, waypoint, accept. And that puts it this way. And so we're gonna follow over to here. We're gonna head towards the sanctuary. We're gonna stop at the sanctuary real quick, see if we can buy some more mobility boosts. And then we're gonna head up to the station via the trade station and uh, see if we can sell them to the uh, trader on the station who should buy them. Oh, that would have been bad if collision existed. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to park. You see, it looks like these are landing pads, but there's no way down from up here. Oh, there is. There's an elevator. I didn't know the elevator went all the way up there. <laughs> okay. Um, you are the mobility boost seller. Yes, yes, we can buy two more from you. Okay. No one else in here sells mobility boosts. Okay. Now that I know there's a uh, landing pad entrance up here, that's the way I'm going to be going from now on. Um, let's see. I need to go this direction somewhere. Trading station. There you are. All right, so we're going to come over to here. Okay, and land right here. All right. Um, we'll double check this guy. I don't think he has, no, he doesn't do boosts. So we're gonna go to the trade station in orbit. All right, and in here, uh, up here, this guy, I believe, mobility boosts. We're going to buy the two that he has. Then we're going to head all the way down to the bottom and into the conference room. And he... Let's see, we have six to sell him. <laughs> and that is how you make money with trading. Um, now we want to find who has the, who will sell us these for the cheapest. You do not sell them. Um, where's the guy that sells them? Is he up a level? I think he's up a level. Uh, there's two guys here that sell them. This guy, whoa, this guy, uh, large optronic bridge, 186,000. And then the guy over here. Yes, for 182,000. And then if we come back to the trading station here, this guy does the small optronic bridges. Um, But this guy over the sanctuary will do the large ones. It was 182,000 was the cheapest so far. Um, I know that they will sell them for as low as 160. 
thousand. So okay. Uh, where are you? Here you are. You uh, one sixty-five thousand. Ha <laughs> ha! Second large optronic bridge online. Now we can come back up to here and get back to the bunker. Ah! Bunker is this direction somewhere. Do I not have the bunker? There it is. Z bunker. And then we just got to uh, get some uh, uh, with the other things. Hold on. Before we do, let me let me go back to the sanctuary real quick. I'm going to try. To, I'm going to buy some uh, auto miner cores. See if we can get a higher level auto miner online. Just going to pop out real fast. You sell auto miner cores. Let's get two of them. Okay. Now we can see if we can get the, uh, get a higher level auto miner online. All right, let's put our second one of these in here and then put those in there. Um, let's see, the auto miner would require flux coils, zescosium alloy and power coils. So it's gonna be a bit till we can get that online. That's fine, we've got the titanium going. Now, um, what we need for this is just flux coils. So we're going to have to find a way to get flux coils. There is one way those uh, Titan parts on the moon definitely have some more thrusters and there's drones around them. But I don't think we're ready for that just yet because of all those drones. So I'm thinking it's time to head back to the... Uh, to head back to the artifact. Which should be. Here, I believe. Don't ask me why that says level one with that thing there. No, artifact is here. This will be our next target. The unknown artifact right over there. There you are. Um, it was kind of purple and I didn't see it. And so that's going to be our next major goal. Aha. And I'll just grab these. I can usually grab these at least once before I grab all the others. So, um, oh yeah, all those that went into my player. Okay. Um, so we're going to be going after the unknown artifact next. Okay, let's grab these. And let's put five of them on the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, on the uh, diplomat. <laughs> um, I can make some more hams. Let's make ten more. And uh, while I'm down here, let's uh, let's just go ahead and heal up, oxygenate. Okay, and then I'll eat once I get uh, once I get back over there. Okay, and then on here. I'm going to put these emergency rations over here in this little cupboard above the food station. Okay. 
Now, for the unknown artifact assault, we're probably just going to wear our heavy armor, which is on the diplomat. I might take the diplomat over there, but I'm thinking I'll probably just take the small vessel, uh, the, the cargo pod, because we don't need this giant small vessel just to go right next door. Um, but we're going to be doing that in the next episode. So, uh, let me, I'm going to put this in here for now. Let's put all these down here. Okay. And that's going to be it for this episode. We, we did, we did a good amount. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. If you did hit the like button for me. If you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Know-It-All DM, and as always, y'all have a good day now.